Hello, Namaste, Sasrikal, Salam Alaikum. This past year has been the most challenging for many of us. We've suffered in unimaginable ways, and many of us have lost our loved ones. But we will find our way through this, and we will be united once again with our friends and our families. All we have to do is take the vaccination. Many in our community have suffered the most, largely due to our efforts on the front line at the NHS or as key workers. Looking after others and serving our community is what we do. It's how we've been brought up. That's why we have such immense pride when a family member becomes a doctor or a nurse. We have so much respect for them. They need our respect now more than ever. They need our help. Today, those doctors and scientists have found us a way forward, a COVID vaccine that is safe and will help save lives. Our community has played our part. In fact, the scientists who developed the most widely used vaccine are Muslim. Professor Uz Shaheen and his scientist wife, Oslem Turecci from Turkey. India is one of the global leaders in vaccine manufacturing. Your relatives in this part of the world are alive today because of their trust in vaccines. Should we ask children around the world to stop taking the polio vaccine? No, of course not. So I say if the medics are taking it, so am I. Now, of course, we have many questions and concerns. Let's clear some of them up. There is no scientific evidence to suggest the vaccine will work differently on people from ethnic minority backgrounds. The vaccine does not include pork, or any material of fetal or animal origin. It's important to understand that the vaccine does not contain the live virus itself, only harmless elements from it. And taking the vaccine is the only way to boost the immunity against COVID for you and your loved ones. The vaccine was available quickly because of a global effort. Because huge funds were made available by governments around the world. So something that would normally take years to just months. There are no cases of any significant side effects among the millions of people who have received this vaccine. It is very, very rare for vaccines to have long-term side effects. What we do know is that COVID-19's long-term implications can be deadly. The COVID-19 vaccines have gone through the same strict processes and regulations as other vaccines, such as for measles, mumps, rubella and TB. There is no chip or tracker in the vaccine to keep watching where you go. Your mobile phone actually does a much better job of that. Pregnant women are not excluded from the vaccine, but should discuss their case with the doctor. There's also no evidence to suggest the vaccine affects fertility. Herd immunity is not an option, as many millions will need to be infected, causing a disastrous number of deaths. The vaccine does not change or damage our DNA. Not taking the vaccine can damage us more. There may be many other concerns that you have read online or via text message. We urge you please to address these with your doctor. Three of my aunties and one of my uncles have had the vaccine. My mum has had the vaccine. My father, who's 80, has had it. My daughter, who's a medic, has had it. My dad has had the vaccine. My parents have had the vaccine. My sister's had the vaccine, and I'm really looking forward to when it's my turn. Please help save lives. By taking the vaccine, we will soon be able to live normal lives again. Soon, we will be reunited with our friends and family, provided we do one simple thing, take the vaccine. Just one simple step will mean we can once again eat, drink, pray, and hug together. Not only will you be saving your life, but you'll be saving other lives too. And there can be no better gift than that. Thank you.